हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture let us understand the problems on source transformation. In source transformation the voltage source can be converted into current source and the current source can be converted into voltage source. Now let us consider the first problem. We are having both current sources as well as voltage source. Now we need to convert these one form of source into another form. In this problem first let us convert this voltage source into current source for source transformation problem always you need to remember current can be written as i is equal to v by r and voltage can be written as i into r which means if you are converting from a voltage source to current source you need to divide voltage with the resistor and the resistor should be connected in parallel with the current source and if you are converting a current source into a voltage source you need to multiply the resistor with the current source and the resistor should be connected in series with the voltage source now we are converting this voltage source into current source which means this voltage should be divided with this resistor value and we need to write the current source then this resistor should be connected in parallel with the current source let us redraw the circuit so this is the circuit after source transformation here this voltage source is converted into current source and we have divided this 10 with 2 and we have obtained 5 amperes so you need to remember while converting from voltage source to current source you need to divide the voltage source value with the resistor so that is what we have done here and the remaining values we have written as it is now here the current sources are in parallel that's why we can add all these current sources and these resistors are connected in parallel that's why we can apply the parallel formula for these resistors so we can find the equivalent resistor as 1 by r is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 Plus one by three plus one by two plus one by one. So if we solve this, we'll get seventeen divided by six. Therefore, we can find the resistor value as six divided by seventeen. Therefore, R is equal to zero point three five two ohm. So if we add all these current source values, so it will be five. Plus five plus ten, so it is equal to twenty amperes. So the current source value is equal to five plus five plus ten is equal to twenty amperes. So we can write the above circuit with a single current source and a resistor in parallel with current source value as twenty ampere and resistor value as zero point three five two ohm. we can convert this current source into voltage source by multiplying this resistor value with this current source and this resistor should be connected in series so we can write a single voltage source with the value positive and negative so here we have written positive and negative value because the current is moving upwards and we can write the resistor in series so if we multiply 0.352 with 20 ampere it will be 7.058 volts and this resistor should be connected in series with the voltage source so using the source transformation we have converted this circuit into a single circuit which is having a current source with a resistor or we can convert that into a voltage source with a single resistor this is how you can reduce the circuit using source transformation now let us consider the second problem in this problem let us convert this current source into voltage source and also let us convert this current source into voltage source so we can convert this current source into voltage source and this current source into voltage source 
to convert the current source into voltage source we need to multiply the resistor value with the current value so if we multiply this 5 ohm with 5 amperes we will get 25 volts for the voltage source and if we multiply this 10 with 2 ampere we will get 20 volts and these resistor values should be connected in series with the voltage source let us redraw the circuit so this is the circuit after simplification as you can see 25 volts and 5 ohm resistors are connected in series and 20 volts and 10 ohm resistor is connected in series so as you can see for this voltage source we have written the polarity as positive and negative because this current source is moving upwards and for this voltage source we have written the polarity as negative and positive because this current source is moving downwards so these polarities are very important for simplification now if we add all these voltage source since they are connected in series we will get 25 volts plus 10 volts minus 20 volts so it will be 15 volts so we can write a single voltage source with 15 volts as positive and negative you can take the polarity so the voltage is 15 volts so if you add these two resistors we will get 15 ohm because these two resistors are connected in series so we can write 15 ohm resistor that is connected in series with the voltage source now we need to connect this current source in parallel with this voltage source the current source in parallel with the voltage source we know any element that is connected in parallel with the voltage source can be neglected that's why we can write the voltage source with a resistor 15 ohm connected in series so we can neglect the current source now this voltage source can be converted into current source by dividing this voltage source with the resistor value so if we divide 15 volts with 15 ohm we will get 1 ampere as current source and this resistor should be connected in parallel with that the current source so we will get current source the arrow mark of this current source is towards upwards because we are having the polarity as positive and negative so it will be 1 ampere and the resistor is connected in parallel which is 15 ohm this is about the problems on source transformation hope you have understood the topic thank you